So I'm out here at Slug Bug Ranch and uh, just walking around and taking a look at everything now. This place is cool. It's like weird because it's like abandoned, but it's exploring. Bunch of birds everywhere. Old gas station. Old house. A lot of graffiti, pretty cool graffiti. That husky over there looks good. Ah, oh, that's pleasant. Oh, it's an old garage gas station. That's neat. If you guys are ever driving down through Texas, everyone's heard of Cadillac Ranch. Been there. Never heard of Slugbug Ranch. Yeah. Okay, the road is violent. Get rid of the track dozer or whatever they have. Oh, that RV behind me is going to die. Oh, this is so cool. I'm at the White Sands in New Mexico now. I've, I've driven past it, never actually came in here. This is crazy. Highly recommend. This mountain. I'm carving mine. Korchak. So, if you guys made it this far in the video, I know I did not take a lot of footage while I was out traveling. So, the whole trip, I left 2 30 a.m. on July 1st, did not get home until July 9th at 8 55 p.m. And I traveled through 12 states, if you include Illinois, and roughly 5,000 miles. It was 4,997 point something by the time I got home. So I've been posting photos to my Instagram, still gonna keep posting photos to my Instagram because I took a lot of photos during the trip, not a whole lot of footage. Main reasoning in that last clip, or I'm gonna put the clip at the end, probably, I don't know where I'm putting it, um, from the Crazy Horse Memorial the reason I did record the whole thing, but a lot of it got ruined by wind noise, but also the camera does not pick up a lot of the laser light show that they do or the atmosphere and everything there. There was times where I was just listening to it and I would look up and all I saw were stars. I mean, the sky was just littered with stars in that area. And it was just, it was one of those moments that I'm going to look back on and just have in my memories and I want you guys to go have those memories I want people to go see those things that's why I didn't do a lot of videotaping or recording while I was out seeing everything and yeah I was taking pictures but really when you're there at these places at these memorials at these sideshow attractions 
one of them you're going to see on my Instagram is the world's largest frying pan in Iowa. It's just when you see it and you see the community that came together to put this thing up or like have it brought to life, like put out there. And when you drive through these little towns, it's just you will never be able to capture that in video. And I want to be able to showcase these places more and get people out there. Because I know a lot of people travel. I know a lot of people love to travel. But it was just, I don't know, I haven't done anything like that ever in my life. And that's why I wanted to go do it. And it was, it was one for the record books, I'll tell you that much. And just seeing these things and going out there and just being able to experience it, meet people. I met strangers up on the mound in Madeira in Arizona that were just passing by one guy I was talking to for like five ten minutes something like that about life and it was just that would have never happened to me here in Illinois I mean yeah it does but not in that essence of I felt like I was alone on that mountain hiking it and then all of a sudden this guy appeared and we're just talking total strangers never met before he was from the east coast like completely east coast I'm from the midwest we would have never met, but somehow our paths cross on that mountain in that two foot walking path. So it's just, if there's something that you want to do, whether it's a restaurant a block down the street or call somebody that you haven't talked to in a while or go travel 5,000 miles in the U.S. or even go overseas somewhere, there's nothing stopping you but yourself. It, even if you tell me, oh, I'm busy with work or I got the family and kids, take them. The money can be made and it's these things may never exist again and it's just I mean yeah these things will exist they'll still be there but it's just the memories you can never buy a memory you can never pay somebody to give you a memory only you yourself can make it so go out and make your memories and live a life younger you would have been proud of. Because that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to live a life that younger me always wished and dreamed of. And might I say, right now, younger me might be a little disappointed in some of the choices I made. But also, very proud. Because younger me has always loved to travel, road trips... ATVs, jet skis, always wanted that stuff. And my my visions, my dreams are becoming goals. Mm -hmm. And my goals are becoming reality. Thanks to my supports. Thanks to my family. Thanks to my friends. Even thanks to you guys. Without you guys sub subscribing to the channel, liking my videos, commenting, supporting me. Even to the people who make fun of my videos or tell me I did something wrong guess what you're there supporting me too whether you like it or not because that makes me want to make a better video so thank you guys be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed it and uh this whole road tripping thing has really got got the bug in me and uh you might see me purchase something in the near future and by near future probably in a few months so we'll see what happens but otherwise I gotta get back to work and we're definitely gonna be working that ranger soon so stick around for that all right i will catch you guys later so thank you again and be sure to travel go look up like tourist attract not tourist attraction but roadside attractions in your state they're closer than you think i even saw the giant potato in idaho who thought a potato museum would be cool no one, but I went there and I found it fascinating. I enjoyed myself and that's what life is all about is enjoying yourself and having fun. So let's let's bring more joy to the world. Bye guys, laters.